Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about something that, in my opinion, is 100% priceless. Just like how your life is valuable, this is a tool or a resource, a map a destiny for all that you will need in order to be successful in your life, in order for you to achieve love, in order to for you to achieve success, in order for you to achieve happiness, healing, in order for you to have better understanding of who you are and why certain things are happening to you right now. There is a tool and a resource that is available to you for free right now, no matter what your environment is, no matter what your current circumstances, no matter where you are in the world, there is a resource that you can pull and access that will help you to have better understanding of everything as far as timing, where you're going, where you're coming from, what you can do with your strengths and your weaknesses, and it is called the natal chart or the astrology chart. I believe that we all come from this higher source, this all loving, all knowing energy that I call the divine. Now in my belief and my practice, I think that all religions or all spirituality are saying the same thing, but we just translate it in different ways. That's why we have Buddhism, that's why we have Pagan, that's why we have Wiccan, that's why we have Christianity, Hinduism, etc., etc. I believe that this video and the astrology chart can be used by everyone across the board, no matter what your belief system is. If you look at all of the theologies, they all kind of mirror each other, but I'm gonna use the word divine to describe this all-loving power, all-knowing power that is a present force in all of our lives. Everything happens for a reason. Everything comes in with divine timing. And timing is the key word here because most people, no matter what their background is, no matter where they come from, no matter what their walk of life is, no matter what their culture is, we can all agree that there are certain things that have to come in with perfect divine timing. Timing. It's all about certain things aligning in order to create something to open the door for it to manifest or for this to happen or for something to occur. Now, I believe that the divine and your life and your existence, all of those things, they happen for a reason, that nothing is a coincidence and that the, the divine this all-knowing energy that is all connected to all of this, this inner web of like energy of living things and souls and purposes has a purpose for your life. And because of that, especially as human beings, in order for us to live our lives, it's not impossible, but it's when you're living your life, and I'm sure you guys can agree, agree, with, agree with me on this, but there's so many obstacles and there's so many things that we don't understand and so many of us are different and all of us have different pl plans and paths to take. And I don't feel like the universe put you in this world and just is like, well, go figure it out. I feel like the divine has given us from the moment that we were born, gives us a tool to help us to map out our destinies and also to better understand ourselves, but also to ask for and understand the desires of our heart so that we can ask for those things and then work to bring them in so that we feel successful as individuals. Because not everybody has the same idea of what success is. The idea of success and what success is varies for everyone. And these are things that are mapped out within the astrology chart or your natal chart. Now when I say astrology chart and I say natal chart, I'm pretty much saying the same thing, at least in this video. Okay, so if you hear me use them interchangeably, then at least we just have that that uh, mutual understanding right now. We can agree on that, right? Okay, so that being said, there's timing that happens. And as a spiritual worker, I have worked with people who have passed or are passing, meaning like their physical body is breaking down and they're preparing for death. And I've also worked with people who are trying to bring in new life. So they were trying to bring in a new child into this life, into this physical form, and the spirit and the soul of that child was meet, was waiting for the perfect time, the right moment. And there, I believe that our souls know the perfect timing for us to come in and to step into this world. And that that timing, that knowingness comes from the divine and also is a part of this divine plan for our lives and also the divine plan for the world because all of us have our own strengths and our own weaknesses that we're going to give to this world and also the things that we're going to take from this world. So when the timing is right, 
that is when you are born. That's why your birth time, your birth date, and your birth location are perfect. There is no mistakes at the time that it is that you're born. The time that you're born, the day that you're born, the day, the place that you're born, all of those things are map within the chart. It's a snap, a snapshot of that moment that you were born, how the stars were placed, and it can never be repeated. And no one person has the same natal chart, even twins. So this natal chart maps out your destiny and so much of who you are to your core. You can find all the answers that it is that you're seeking um, if you pull the chart and if you look at the chart and study the chart or maybe go to an astrologer to interpret the chart and to help you to understand it and make sure that they're knowledgeable because there's many astrologers out there that are reading natal charts but are highly misinformed and giving false information all the time and leading people astray. So you want to make sure that you're doing your research and you also want to make sure that you're checking your reviews for the type of um, person that you're getting a reading from. All right? So anyways, people throughout history have always used the stars as a compass in order to direct them, not only to see significant moments within their within life and within destiny or within history, but also to guide them as they're traveling or moving towards freedom. For example, people, sailors and captains who are navigating boats and looking to the North Star to point them in the right direction as soon as the sun goes down. The North Star in a lot of ways is the North Node and the North Node is where it is that you're being pulled to, where in your chart your destiny lies, where it is that you're striving towards and the South Side, the South Node is where it is that you're coming from. Um, also in history, a really good example is actually found in the Bible of the three wise men who were looking towards the stars in order to discover and to understand when the timing was going to be right for their Lord and Savior to be born. And they knew, these three wise men knew that the timing was coming. Why? Because they were looking towards the stars for guidance and they saw that something significant was going to happen. Now I can make a whole video about what was astrologically going on at that time in order to explain the birth of Jesus Christ at that time and the significance of, of his manifestation, of, his, his, of him being born. But if you'd like me to make a video on that, I'm more than happy to do that. Just give me a thumbs up and leave it down in the comments. But anyways, so they were actually looking toward the stars, not only to determine when this is going to happen, but they knew by looking at the stars that at this very moment, in that, in that present moment, that this is when something significant was going to happen, and it was the stars aligning. We say this all the time. When the stars align is when we're going to see this happen. When the stars align is when this door is, this portal is going to open. When the stars align, your soulmate's going to come in. We are always waiting for the stars to align, and really what it is is, is we're, what, we're waiting, what we're actually saying is we're waiting for the planets to move. To, to fall into a perfect transit, to fall into alignment in order to create the divine timing, the right moment. Now, not only is this found within your chart, within your astrology chart, your natal chart, mapping out all of who you are and all of your destiny, but this also, we're given this tool, this map to show who we are, but also the right moments that get activated that will, the right points that will be activated when significant moments happen within your life and in mine. So this is when we look to the star when we look to the charts and also to the stars astrologers do and we pull up our natal chart and we can see that this transit is going to activate this and this is what we can expect. Something significant is going to happen here. And then what ends up happening whatever it is manifests itself. Whatever it is happens, whether it be something that feels good or something that feels bad. Okay, so when you are born, no one has your natal chart. This is a map given to you by the divine in order to help you to navigate your life, in order to help you better understand yourself, and also to help you better open the key to certain doors that are lying there for you to unlock and to explore for the sole purpose of your experience here on earth, and then also for you to share your gifts with others strangers, friends, people that you love, the entire world, the entire generation. It depends on what your chart looks like. Some of us are more designed and destined to serve a greater good. Others are more one-on-one, -on -one. okay? So when you pull the natal chart, not only do you see a mapping of exactly who you are to your core, your strengths, we see your weaknesses, 
We see how your subconscious mind works. We see how you mentally perceive things. We can see how you love, what you're attracted to, how you strive toward the things that it is that you want to achieve within your life, your, how you build structure in your life, the major areas of transformation, your emotional well-being, your health, your marriage partner, your friendship circles, the people who are going to be gurus to you and um, make a huge impact on your life, also your destiny, also where you've come from. We can see your upbringing. We can see disease. We can see your communication styles. We can see all of these things. We can see how you second guess yourself and doubt yourself more than anybody else would ever doubt you. All of those things are written for you within your chart. And the universe, the divine says, look, this is what I'm going to give to you to, to better understand yourself. Now, if you actually study astrology, there are three major types of wisdoms. There are three major types of wisdoms that can be found that were given to us throughout humanity or for humanity, for the betterment of humanity. Number one is higher education, so book knowledge, being able to study and do research so that we can better understand our world and better um, advance ourselves as, as a system, as a whole. So we'll find that in technology, we'll see that in medical developments, we'll see this in research and in history, people who are doing research on that, etc, etc. The second one is by travel and by experiencing other people and other different um, types of cultures and different traditions and bringing that knowledge back so that that society can advance or so that you can better understand by experiencing these different ways of life. That's a second form of wisdom. And the third is the astrologers, the mystics, the people who are the messengers of God. And that's what's written in my chart to be, without speaking too highly of myself, but it's written, it's the medicine man of, the, of God. It's the messenger of God who studies the stars and studies astrology and studies the occult to understand these symbols so that we can better translate our purpose here on life. There's three major wisdoms. And how your chart falls, like how your chart kind of lays itself out will show how you will manifest those wisdoms. If you're going to advance in them, if you're going to be okay in them, if you're going to be mediocre, if you're just not going to be interested in it, if you're going to coast by. So that's why, you know, we have people like me, not that I'm speaking highly of myself, because again, we all have our strengths and our weaknesses and we all need each other. Like if I need to get my car tuned up, I'm going to go to a person who has studied that in order to help me to make my life more efficient. Just like my study is to understand the cosmos and to understand astrology and to understand the occult and then also use my own intuitive gifts that were given to me by God that are written within my chart um, in order to help my clients, in order to help mankind on a global scale, which I wasn't hoping, which I didn't set the intention for, but it's written in my chart for me to be global and to put my message out there. That's not something that I could fight. It's something that's destined for me and inevitably this is what I'm doing now. So all of these things are written within your chart, but there's certain people, certain astrologers, certain philosophers, and people who study the occult who will help you to better, to better understand your destiny and your purpose and help you to unlock certain doors. Whatever door it is that you're focusing on or whatever door that it is you, that you must accomplish or you must achieve. Now, nine times out of ten, when you feel a shift in your life, it's because there's a shift in the stars. So, and when you bring your chart to an astrologer, when you bring your natal chart to an astrologer, and I look at it, and I can see, okay, I can see that you're hyper-focused on relationships right now. It's because progress Venus and progress this, or this transit is happening, and this is where you're going to most likely find love, or this is what your partner's going to look like. This is what you're attracted to, but this is ultimately who your marriage partner is, and this is how long it, the relationship will last, and this is what the second marriage will look like it, for um, unfolding and unfolding. Or my one of my recent clients is trying to get pregnant. And I can see within this year that it's not a fertile year for her, but she could still um, work the bones of that. There's a lot of things that needed to be secured so that pregnancy could happen. And timing is perfect. There is no coincidence in her coming to me at that very moment in order to prepare for the birth of this child because the soul of this child is saying, look, ma, look, dad, you know what? My soul is preparing to come in because my divine timing is coming. And I need you to prepare for me, which means the home needs to be secure, this needs to happen, this business needs to happen in order for you to be able to give me all of what is destined for me to live out my life purpose. Because as a mother and as a father, 
your sole responsibility as a parent is to contribute to your child in the way that is that you do in order to help them to develop. And guess what? All of those things are written in your natal chart and in your child's natal chart. All of those things are written there. There's no mistakes. And that's why a lot of people, I'm going off on a tangent at this point, but that's why a lot of people are like, astrology isn't real or astrology doesn't make sense, it's too general. That's because the majority of the people are not deeply studying astrolo astrology to, better, to, to help the masses. There's few of us because not everybody is destined to be, you know, a really um, trustworthy and highly educated and highly informed astrologer. That's why word of mouth is everything. That's why word of mouth worked for me because it's not that I'm actively pushing myself out there. It's because I speak the truth and I've studied this. So that's just, you know, I don't even know why I derailed. But at the end of the day, what it is ultimately that I'm saying is that if you are ever lost, um, if you don't know who you are, if you're asking the question of, okay, this is my, this is where I'm being drawn to. What is my destiny? I want a relationship. Who am I supposed to marry? When is this going to happen? All of those things come with divine timing. Um, well, when certain events happen, it's divine timing. That's what we say at, at, across the board. Well, we, the timing has to be right, or we have to wait on timing. Really, what is that we're saying is we're waiting for the stars to align in order to open the door. And I believe that the, the divine, the higher power, God, goddess, whoever says, look, you know what? I can't give you all of the knowledge of the cosmos. I can't give you all of the knowledge of the universe. But what I can give you is a general time scale of what you can expect and what I want you to focus on now. And I feel like the divine speaks to us through our heart and is constantly communicating us, communi communicating through to us almost like email saying, okay, this is what you're going to focus on now. And a part of that is written in the stars. We can see that when a person is, when their heart is ignited by something, when they're passionate about something, we can look at the chart and see that this actually makes sense because you're going through this transit right now. Or when we see that someone is suffering or someone is learning so much through these obstacles, you can look at the chart and see that there's a Saturn transit or a Pluto transit. And all of that is because the divine gave you your natal chart and said, Sorry guys, my battery died, as it usually does as I'm doing these readings or talking on the camera. Just prepare for it. If you're a part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, you already know to factor in a moment when the camera's going to cut out because it always does. Um, part of it is energy, but it is what it is. But back to what it was that I was saying. Yeah, the divine says this natal chart shows who you are. And these transits show what is happening around you and what doors you're going to focus on and what doors need to be un unlocked. And this is where you need to be. And this is what is, this is the time to go out. If you go, if you go to an astrologer and say, I'm looking for love, I can pull your chart and say, from this time to this time, this is what you can expect from love. And then meaning like it's going to, you're going to have more obstacles. You're going to have more opposition than you are going to have positive experiences and things that are developing that you love or that excite you or show promise, promise of lasting love and lasting opportunity. Right? So that's me telling you that. And then I say after January um, 19th of 2019, this is when that door is going to open for love to come in. But also free will is everything. So go out and do whatever it is that you want to do. And you just say, you know what? Not that you're being stubborn, not that you're pushing back, but that you want to just, you want to experience and go out and see for yourself. Maybe love will come in, maybe it won't, but you're going to find out. So you go on all of these dates and literally it's obstacle after obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. But all of these things are experiences and it's, you know, taking up time and it's good and it's not a bad thing. So I don't think that that's a bad thing if you do decide to go out. And I think that free will, again, is everything and you should follow your heart. But January 19th or January 22nd of 2019, you go out on one date. And, or it's a setup where a friend, and I can see all of it within the chart. Like I can see that a friend is going to connect you through a networking event, and it's going to be here, here, and here, and this is how it's going to happen. It's going to happen right after the new moon or right after the full moon, and that's exactly how it happens. You go to a networking event, not even expecting anything. You bump into a friend there who just happens to be with a guy friend, and you guys meet, and then you guys hit it off, and that's the person that is that you're going to marry. And guess what? The person fits the description of whatever is on the seventh house and the seventh house ruler, how the planets are aspect in that seventh house, house ruler within your natal chart and all of that guess what was written within your natal chart so 
you know, it's up to you if you want to go to an astrologer and if you want to ask these questions or if you want to do your own research and discover maybe it's destined for this video to provoke you to study astrology a little deeper. Maybe this video is to provoke you to study astrology for yourself, but maybe for the world so that you can bring these gifts to other people, okay? So make sure that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel because I'll be opening up an astrology series for free on YouTube. And leave your comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Bye.